A statewide Amber Alert for a Clay County 10 year old boy who disappeared has ended. Two people are in jail now. So you see those two people over here next to us. Uh, the women that you see here, the young boy was found in a home in Jacksonville late last night. Nick Perot is on your side back with the latest from Clay County and Nick police believe these women may have a connection to the family. Well, Anthony, that's right. How exactly is still unclear, but we can tell you, according to the arrest report here in Clay County Sheriff's Office, they say one of the women tried to convince the boy over the last several weeks to come live with her without getting in touch with the boy's grandmother, his legal care provider. Police say the 10 year old boy willingly got into a car that approached him on his walk home from school, but it was not his caregiver. We may not know why the boy was headed to his grandmother's, his legal care provider. The Florida Department of Children and Family Services removed care from the boy's parents in February 2018 and awarded to the grandmother. He's been in her care ever since. In the last few weeks, investigators say this woman, 23 year old Andrea Cyprian, had been trying to get the boy to live with her. After the Amber Alert was issued, family would lead police to this home in Jacksonville. According to the arrest report, the home is the last known address of someone related to the boy. Detectives would find the boy's shirt and eventually the boy in the back of the house. 23 year old Andrea Cyprian and 25 year old Vachacity Christian face two charges, interfering with custody of a minor and providing false information to police. And back out here live, we caught up with a family member at that home. It says that the family does not want to comment at this time. Both of those women still in Clay County Jail and are awaiting a bond hearing expected on Monday. In Clay County tonight, Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.